What's good, everybody? It's your brother, Mad Black, the most dangerous and the most toxic black man on the internet. And I am black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. So, I recently saw on the news that Christian Cooper, a.k.a. Sambo Beware, the Birdman, just got an Emmy for his National Geographic show, Extraordinary Birder. For those of you don't, who don't remember who Christian Cooper is, he was the black male who was traveling around in Central Park doing some bird watching when this racist, bigoted white female decided to call the police on him. And, you know, she just went completely over the top with it, you know, crying or trying to make it sound like she was being assaulted on the phone and, you know, choking up her dog and everything. And it made the news back in 2020. And she wound up, I think she wound up losing her job. And I'm not sure if she actually faced any charges from the city, but I do know that Christian Cooper did not want to press any charges against her. You know, he's decided to stay out of it, and he decided to make sure that she knew that he wasn't mad at her, right? He decided not to press any charges against her and not have her punished, or said she didn't deserve to be punished. <laughs> so basically, he was sending a dog whistle out there to to white people about how much he loved them and how docile a Negro he is. And we also know that Christian Cooper, he is a gay black man, so he didn't want to cut off any access to some hairy Caucasoid booty crack, right? So he had to make sure that, you know, if he wanted to keep having access to that, that type of deviancy, he had to make sure that he didn't punish any white woman for being a bigot. So, you know, after he did that, Christian Cooper was praised by white society. You know, it's, it's one thing to have a run-in with one of these racists, but to have a run-in with a racist and then try to make sure that they don't get in trouble or make it seem as if you don't want anything bad to happen to them that that just helps you know that that's like like pinching white people on the booty or something like that or making them blush cuz they love that they love black people who like to forgive and who like to just basically accept racism with a smile so you know once he did that white people decided to reward Christian Cooper by not only giving him media attention they gave him his own show on National Geographic. So he got his own show on National Geographic about watching birds. And even after that, they gave him an award. So this is his reward for being a good Negro. You know, he was already somewhat in their good graces by being a gay black man because they, they like buck broken Negroes like that. But the fact that he went that extra mile and would forgive white racism that makes it even better, right? And the fact that he looked out for this white woman and made sure that, you know, she didn't get punished any more than she already had, that was basically a great signal to them that this is this is a Negro we can trust. This is a good boy right here. They can pat him on the head and they can give him some money and give him some rewards and awards and a TV show and he'll never get out of line. He'll never do anything to upset the apple cart. He'll never do anything to destroy our system. This is a good boy right here. And, you know, it's a shame that we have Negroes out here like that that will go out of their way to make excuses or forgive or at the very least not punish racism, right? When someone does something evil to you, there's supposed to be some sort of punishment. When a black person does something bad, not only do they want to punish that black person, they want to punish the whole black community. The whole black community gets the blame for it. But when a white person does something, they go out of their way to try to make sure that this white person is not punished properly or that this white person doesn't get the full prosecution that they should and they don't get beat up on. And then you have these Negroes on top of that who always want to forgive 
or even go as far to say that there was no wrongdoing. You remember that story I did about that fool that nearly drowned because his white female friends, quote unquote, pushed him into a lake and he almost died and was in a coma. And when he came out of the coma, he couldn't wait to come to tell the media they did nothing wrong. We was just playing. You know, don't put any charges on these people. Now, his family was fighting to get him, <laughs> you know, they were fighting for some sort of prosecution. But that fool woke up and basically said that, that he doesn't want anything bad to happen to his white friends. That's exactly what Christian Cooper did, right? He did the same thing. Like, his family wanted more harsher charges. Like, I remember his, his sister, I can't remember if it was his sister or his cousin or whatever was out there trying to push for real charges to be put on this woman because, like I said, she got on the phone and lied. She made it sound like she was being assaulted. She started crying and everything else and, you know, acting all scared or whatever. And Christian Cooper wasn't even doing anything to her. But this fool decided to just swallow that and accept that and do his best to protect this white woman. So now, once again, he proved that he was a good Negro, a good boy, and that they could give him a TV show and a reward for it. And, you know, he'll probably keep on getting butter biscuits as time goes on, or should I say birdie biscuits, <laughs> right? So this bird brain Negro gets some more birdie butter biscuits from his white mommy and daddy and he's cool with that and he'll do his best to protect white bigots you let me know how you feel about it in the comments section i very much like to hear your opinions on this story anyway this is mad black and i will be back with my foot on a devil's back